and we begin so today we are taking down all of these walls so they're just like back to the normal wood they're very filled out at the moment like as you can see here there's all of that gap that we have so we're going to push the walls back so that i'll have more space on the boat as well um we're taking down like all of the shelves all of the units basically just so it's like a blank canvas so that's the challenge today gutting in process <laughs> this is all like empty now which is great the mess <laughs> End of day one discoveries. <laughs> um, we've took out all the insulation and everything, so the walls are literally bare. But me and my mum have both fallen through the floor, so we've had to take the flooring up because it keeps falling off. This bit was all flooded, which it still is, which is just great. So we keep pumping that out, um, and we keep falling through the floor. So we've got some hard work to do. There's also like this bit that insulation is stopping well it's not really stopping water from leaking because water is leaking in and this bit here look you can literally see the outside so that needs welding um but yeah day one we're looking like this finished finished product for day one um i need a new floor basically and new walls great <laughs> We are on day two. The car is full and my auntie's car is full as well. And all that here. It's all the wood and stuff that was just on top of the boat last night. So the whole of the top is emptied full of all the wood that we got rid of from outside of the boat. And we've taken out like loads of the wood from inside. So it's a blank yeah. canvas and doors and all sorts. It's great. Second tip run. We had literally done this car's full, this car's full. And this is all empty now, thank God. Um, it's looking good over here because it's all emptied and it's all nice and it's back to how it should be. Um, I think that's all we're doing today because it was literally just like emptying it out and clearing it all out. Just so we've got a blank canvas because the wood is coming tomorrow for the walls for the outside. So tomorrow the whole of the side's coming off, windows are out and everything like that. New wood's going up, windows are going back in. Don't know where they're going yet or not. New flooring's going down. Full steam ahead, mate. Full steam ahead. So after a few days, the water has finally gone now. Um, it was all flooded around this area. We don't actually know where the water was coming from. We just think it was coming maybe through like the wood or something. Not really sure. Um, we've got all weights on the floor in the back just to weigh it down a bit because it's literally floating out of the water. Um, we've also got new lats on the floor to then support the new floor and when that goes down as well. But it's all coming together and it's so exciting. I don't even know what day of renovation we are on right now. Um, I've just got the car. My mum has got the felt. That's for the roof. Oh my god, that's so exciting. I didn't know we had that. So this is all like new roofing, which is grippy and it's really good. It's what we have now at the moment, but it's a perfect roof to have. I don't know what this metal pole's for, so we'll have to see and wood's also coming today as well okay so we're on the boat on the boat on my home um this is what it's looking like at the moment all of this part is actually dried out now which is great um i don't really understand what hat was going on with it like this but this is going to be where my bathroom is anyway it's so exciting because i know where everything's going to be and it's so fun um so this is new flooring that's going down and there's going to be a new sheet here tonight um, we've also got a lovely hole in the wall, which is delightful. Um, this has all been taken out. This bit's all been taken off as well, because that bit was still there. Um, I think that's everything that's actually been done for now. But it's super exciting, because I can finally see it all coming together. I think I've possibly just broken my finger. All three of them. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just putting some wood on the back. Pushed in, it got trapped in between two pieces. I think it was bleeding. I think I broke the nail, and I actually can't feel the ends of my fingers, which is great. Ow!
Okay, so update. We have windows in now. I feel like I'm not giving you a fully proper update in a while. We've got two portholes here. Well, actually, these ones couldn't be moved anyway, so they're staying there. And this is my bathroom. This is going to be my bedroom. I'm going to have the two little portholes there because I was like, I don't need big window in my bedroom because it's just going to be hassle. We've then got this one here. Then we've got the hatch there and then two more windows there. And this is all new wood as well on the wall. So that's like not going to rot, not going to fall off, not going to have a hole in there. Um, you've seen the outside and it looks so much better. We're going to have to turn the boat around when this side's fully done. So we've got just some painting to do out there. And then we're onto this side. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to have that one there. And then I'm going to have that one. I'm going to change that to another one of these. Just so it's bigger. And then leave those two where they are. But yeah, it's actually coming together now. And I'm, I'm so happy. And I really do love these portholes. I think they're actually the cutest thing ever. Look, that's it closed. And then that's it open. And it just shuts like that. But I think they're really, really sweet. But I can see it all coming together. And it makes me so happy now. <laughs> 